the mola. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero. It's a beautiful day. Let's soak up the sun. Ah, isn't this nice, Hero? Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Ranger. What do you have at the back of your truck, Ranger Rocky? It's a fish known as the mola. I'm bringing it back to the ocean. Oh, excuse me. Ranger Rocky speaking. Oh my, I'll come over right away. I have to rescue an elephant that has its foot caught in a trap. Can you Junior Rangers help me return the mola to its natural home? Yes, I can, but where does the mola live? Thank you, Leo. I'll call you again. Ranger Rocky, wait! Where do molas live? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mola! Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of a mola that Ranger Rocky left in our garden. Hi, Leo. A mola? That's a strange-looking fish. Ranger Rocky asked us to return the mola to its natural home, but I don't know where that is. I've already started looking. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our fishy friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. What have you found out about the mola? Hi, Leo. The mola is also known as the ocean sunfish, and its scientific name is mola mola. The word mola is a Latin word for millstone. A millstone is a circular stone that is used to grind grains. The mola sure looks like a millstone. Is it as heavy as one? An adult mola can weigh over 2,000 kilograms and can grow up to 4 meters tall. However, it has a very small mouth for a fish its size. Molas eat some small fish and squid, but its favorite food is jellyfish. Jellyfish normally sting, but molas are one of the few animals that can eat jellyfish without getting hurt. Wow, that's amazing! But Ranger Rocky wants us to bring it back to its natural home. So where is that? Well, the mola is also called the ocean sunfish because it lives in temperate and tropical waters of every ocean in the world. Hmm, we have to bring this mola back to its home in the tropical waters. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Hello, Junior Rangers. How are things going? We've just reached the coast and we're about to go into the water, Ranger Rocky. That's great, Leo. As you might know, the mola is also called an ocean sunfish. That's because molas like to sunbathe near the surface of the water. They warm themselves up before diving deeper into colder waters to look for food. Unfortunately, the mola's rough skin houses many parasites, which are tiny creatures that live on or inside another animal or plant. To remove these parasites, molas swim among coral reefs, where small fish live. These small fish eat the parasites on the mola's bodies. So if you want to find this mola a good home in the ocean, try to look for a place with coral reefs. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a small island in the middle of the ocean. 
there's no sign of coral reefs here. And on this side are clear waters with coral reefs. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a small island with no sign of coral reefs. And over there are clear waters with coral reefs. So where should we go? There? That's right! We should head towards the clear waters with coral reefs. We'll find small fish that eat the mola's parasites there. Let's go! This looks like a nice spot to let the mola out. There you go, mola. Swim away and find your friends. Look, the mola is enjoying the sun. Oh no, those seagulls are pecking at the mola. Let's chase them away. Shoot, Shoot seagulls, seagulls, go away. Go away. Now there are more seagulls. Let's throw out some breadcrumbs. Maybe that will distract the seagulls. Yes, let's try that. It doesn't work. Katie and Hero, let's take out our propellers and chase these seagulls away. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Do not stop the seagulls, Junior Rangers. They are helping the mola. Besides small fish, molas often seek help from seagulls to remove parasites from their bodies. Then let's not disturb the seagulls anymore. We've returned the mola to the ocean, but it still needs to find food. Jellyfish are the mola's favorite food. So if you want to find food for the mola, just look for jellyfish in the ocean, not for a kettle of magic potion or a bottle of suntan lotion, but look for jellyfish in the ocean. I see. So not for a kettle of magic potion or a bottle of suntan lotion, but, but look, look for, for jellyfish, jellyfish in, in the, the ocean. ocean. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find food for the mola, you have to look for jellyfish in the ocean. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a swarm of jellyfish. What are those? They're spiky and definitely not jellyfish. Let's move on. Is that a jellyfish? No, it's a clear plastic bag. We'll make sure to clean that up later. Let's continue. What do we have here? These are jellyfish! Good job, Hero! We're coming over! Goodbye, Mola Mola! We did it! We found jellyfish for the Mola to eat! Great work, everyone! Yay! Yay! Rocky left a mola in our garden. We learned that small fish and seagulls help to get rid of parasites that live on molas, and that jellyfish are the mola's favorite food. So we brought the mola back to the ocean where it can eat a lot of jellyfish. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The Leafy Sea Dragon. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I got, Hero. It's a marine aquarium and it has special saltwater plants in it. Look at that pretty seaweed, Hero. It looks like it has eyes. <gasps> it moved. Did you see that too? What do you think? Is this seaweed or an animal? 
Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Are you there, Katie? I just sent you a photo of something in my new aquarium. Hi, Leo. Is that seaweed? It looks like seaweed, but it has eyes and it moved. Can you find out what it is? Of course. I've already started looking. Great. See you soon. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So what is it? You won't believe it, Leo. It's an animal. The name of this animal is the leafy sea dragon. It's a type of fish. Leafy sea dragons are similar to the more famous seahorses. It looks more like seaweed than a seahorse. I wonder if it eats seaweed. No, it doesn't. The leafy sea dragon is a carnivore, which means it feeds on other animals like tiny shellfish and shrimp. It has a mouth that looks like a straw, which it uses to suck up its food. So there's no food for the leafy sea dragon in the aquarium. The aquarium isn't a good home for the leafy sea dragon anyway. It needs to live in the sea, where there's plenty of food for it. And the best place for leafy sea dragons is in the waters of southern Australia. That's the only place in the world where they can be found, and also where they can be safe. There are laws in Australia to protect leafy sea dragons. People are not allowed to remove these rare animals from the sea without permission. Then let's take the leafy sea dragon back home so it can stay where it's protected. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers! Welcome to the beach! Ah, I see you have a leafy sea dragon with you today It was in my marine aquarium, Ranger Rocky I thought it was a piece of seaweed Leafy sea dragons use their appearance to help them hide from predators. They live in or around seaweed beds and seagrass meadows, so marine animals don't notice them. Healthy leafy sea dragons can even change their color to look more like the seaweed they are hiding in. Leafy sea dragons can swim, but very slowly. They use the fins on their necks and tails to move and turn. Despite being slow swimmers, they can travel long distances to look for food. Leafy sea dragons are always looking for food. They have no stomach, which means food goes through their bodies quickly. Because of that, they have to eat constantly. That is why it is not easy for leafy sea dragons to survive outside of their natural home. That's one of the reasons why we're taking this leafy sea dragon back to its home, Ranger Rocky. Look for an area where the seawater is clean. If the water is polluted, the seaweed and seagrass in the water will die. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a beach, but I see dirty water flowing out from the pipes into the sea. And on this side is another beach. It's quiet and the water looks clean. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a beach with dirty water flowing into the sea. And over there is a quiet beach with clean seawater. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to this beach because the water looks clean. Let's go! Ranger Rocky, you got here fast. What's going on? I want to make sure nobody comes too close. A storm just hit this area, and it washed a heap of seaweed ashore. Leafy sea dragons live among seaweed, so they often get washed ashore with the seaweed when the waters get rough. Oh, no! So there might be leafy sea 
dragons lying in the seaweed? I'm afraid so, Katie. I'm looking through the seaweed to find them. I want to put them back in the water quickly so that they'll survive. We'll help you, Ranger Rocky. That would be great. Come in. Look, I just found a leafy sea dragon in this pile of seaweed. If you find any leafy sea dragons, put them in here. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Good job, Junior Rangers. We found all the leafy sea dragons. Since we're taking our leafy sea dragon back to its natural home, we can also bring these, Ranger Rocky. That's wonderful, Leo. Please, take this. But what should we look for now? If you want to find the leafy sea dragons a home, just look for a lot of seagrass in the sea, not for a busy bee or a rusty old key. But look for a lot of seagrass in the sea. I see. So not for a busy bee or a rusty old key, but, but look for a lot, lot of seagrass sea in, in the sea. sea. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the leafy sea dragons a home, you have to look for a lot of seagrass in the sea. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a good home for the leafy sea dragons. Is that a good home for the leafy sea dragons? No, there are fishing nets in the sea. Leafy sea dragons can get caught in them. Let's look somewhere else. So how about this place? Hmm, it's quiet, but there is no seagrass in the water. Next! Is this a good home for the leafy sea dragons? Yes, it is. There is a lot of seagrass in the sea. Well done, Hero. We're coming over. Look at how much seagrass there is. This will be a great home for the leafy sea dragons. There they go. Stay safe, leafy sea dragons. We did it. We found the leafy sea dragons a home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! found a leafy sea dragon in my marine aquarium. We learned that leafy sea dragons are very rare animals that look like seaweed. They hide in seaweed so that other animals can't spot them. And we took the leafy sea dragon home to Australia because leafy sea dragons are protected there. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished! Ah, there, in you go! Huh? A fish tank? <gasps> There's still a fish inside! You need water! Hang in there, little guy. I'll take you to the sea. He's getting away! Come here, hero! No, stop! You need a bath! Oh, Hero, look what I've got. <laughs> hero, come back. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. I rescued a weird-looking fish. There isn't enough water in its tank, so I'm going to release it into the sea. That's a fish? I think so. I'm sure you guys can figure that out. Gotta go now. She hung up. I have to look it up on the computer. Wait for me, Katie. Let's see. Zari found a blue spotted mud skipper. Mud skippers are amphibious, which means they can live on land and in water. On land, they breathe by retaining water in their enlarged gill chambers. They can also breathe through their wet skin. Although they are fish, mud skippers are more comfortable crawling around in the mud than being in the water. 
In fact, they could drown if they can't get out of the water. So mud skippers don't belong in the sea. Let's hope she didn't throw it in yet. All done, Leo. I saved the fish. Zari, that's a mud skipper. It doesn't belong in the sea. It could drown. <gasps> uh oh. We have to get the mud skipper out of the sea. But I don't know where it went. We'll be right over to help you find it. Ranger out. There's no time to waste. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo, all set. Woohoo! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we go! go. Mud Skipper! Mud Skipper! Oh, what have I done? I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Oh, there's a piece of wood with something on it. It's the Mud Skipper. Uh oh, Seagull Emergency! It's over there! Hold on! Stay away, Seagulls! Go away! They're not leaving! It says here that predatory bird calls can scare seagulls away. Let's try an eagle call. It worked! Here, Zari, use this to get the Mud Skipper. Thanks, Katie. Come on, Skippy. There you go. Now let's take Skippy to a place where he can live happily on land and in water. <gasps> Shark! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Sorry about that. I was teaching some fish to swim. What are you Rangers up to? We're bringing Skippy back home, but we're not sure where that is. Hello, Skippy. I know just where to take you. Mud skippers are usually found in mangroves and mud flats on the coast. A mud skipper skips by curling its muscular body sideways and then pushing against the mud to spring forward. It can also crawl on the mud by using its fins and tail. I'm sure Skippy's going to love the mangroves. What do you say, Skippy? I think he likes it. To the mangroves! Sorry, Hero, but you'll have to wait here. I think Hero's found another mission. This way, Junior Rangers. Ooh, look, Skippy. You have so many friends here. Be free now. Hmm, they don't look too friendly. <gasps> Stop! No fighting! Maybe the mangrove isn't right for Skippy. My friend, Ranger Kyrie, might tell you otherwise. You were right, Ranger Rocky. This is where Skippy belongs. Oh, no. Not again. No, it's different this time. It's almost like he's dancing. That's right. Skippy is trying to impress her. Nice move, Skippy. Bye, Bye Skippy. Skippy. Hero, we're back. You definitely need a bath now. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we got Skippy home. Leo, come help before Hero escapes again. Finally, a clean hero. <laughs> and a clean Katie. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Thank <laughs> you.